Yo, what's up guys? My name is Top5Dude. Today we'll be counting down the top 5 people with rare medical conditions that you may have never heard of before. Quickly, before we start, let me know down below if you have any diseases yourself. I used to have a fast working thyroid which basically made me lose like 70 pounds in just a single month. Plus, I was always really, really tired. Anyways, don't forget to enter my free $100 gift card giveaway through the first link in the description also don't forget to check out my merch by clicking the second link in the description now the hashtag to win one of the three shoutouts at the end of my next video will be rare and with that said let's jump right on into the list starting today's list off we have a guy whose body literally gets paralyzed when he loves or is in love with someone somehow he gets trapped inside of his own body which seems really scary to me it almost looks like he's dead but in reality he's just lost loving someone which is kind of weird. Now because he gets paralyzed every time he loves someone he kind of has to ignore the people around him in order to not get paralyzed so many times. This guy is also not able to make love to his wife so having children is probably not a thing for him. This is what it looks like to be in love. It's a struggle to keep your eyes open. His eyes look heavy. Yeah, he's having a tough time. It's your neck giving in to gravity. Matt, are you still with us? Oh, I'd still be with you even if I couldn't move. And then you disappear inside. At least this is what being in love looks like for Matt Frierking. Matt's eyes are open. Yep, he's opening them up. <laughs> so things that most of us long for, having our grandchildren and our children, having our, our spouses tell us they love us, all of the things that most of us live for right. are things that you have to avoid. Yes, I have to limit those things very carefully. The brain is behaving as if it's asleep while Matt is awake. You certainly married the right woman because I have to say an awful lot of us would have real problems I mean, if you look at most American marriages, the women complain that the guys aren't emotionally available. Well, yeah. boy, you've got it in spades. Yeah, but I happen to really love it. Moving on, we have Dustin from the popular Netflix series Stranger Things. Now, you may have noticed that he looks a little bit odd compared to kids his age, and that is because he has a disease called cleidocranial dysplasia. People with this disease are most of the times born without their collarbone, and it can also affect your gum and teeth. Now, because of this, Dustin still has all of his baby teeth simply because they don't come out on their own. What if he slept naked? Gaten Matarazzo's character from Stranger Things has an unusual genetic disorder. His teeth won't fully grow in. I go with toothless. In the first episode, he gets bullied and explains the medical condition. I told you a million times, my teeth are coming in. It's called cleidocranial dysplasia. In real life, 14-year-old Gaten really does have cleidocranial dysplasia. It's where you're born most of the time um, without your collarbones, it can affect um, you orally, like with your teeth and your gums. For him, it especially affected his teeth. Most of my teeth now are baby teeth because they, uh, they don't come out on their own. Gaten now has fake teeth, described as like a dental bridge with teeth. Gaten told Inside Edition he's delighted his condition was written into the script. He's going to be raising awareness for this condition. Next up, we have a little boy who's pretty much allergic to any food you can possibly think of. Because of his severe allergies, he can only eat seven different types of food, which is literally nothing. It must have been really hard for both him and his parents when he was younger, because every time he would eat something new, he would puke it all back out. I do feel really sorry for this kid because I could honestly not imagine my life with only being able to eat seven different types of foods. A lot of kids are picky eaters, but Tyler Chavato has a great excuse for only eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. The six-year-old is allergic to almost everything else, including chicken, turkey, rice, sweet potatoes, and bananas. As an infant, he was even allergic to his mother's breast milk. In fact, for the first four years of his life, he could only have baby formula. So when did you first realize that something was wrong? The main problem happens when we started introducing the baby foods, the cereals, vegetables, fruits, all of those things. And what kind of reaction did he have? He was vomiting, 
um, sometimes 15, 20 times he would lay there. He was lethargic. I would hold him in my arms and I just didn't know what to do. After a series of agonizing emergency room visits and medical tests, doctors still couldn't pinpoint the illness. All of the standard allergy tests came back negative. Finally, at 16 months old, Tyler was referred to Dr. Anna Nowak, a pediatric allergy specialist. She knew almost immediately that it was the F-Pies, it was food protein induced enterocolitis. Next up, we have a little girl who has not slept for the last three years. Now, this medical condition is so rare that the doctors are still finding out till this day what's exactly wrong with her. When this little girl tries to go to sleep, it looks like she goes to her own imaginary world or something, but no one really knows what she's doing. This must also be very tiring for her parents because they probably never get any sleep. I ask her questions and I try to work out what she's doing, but the very strange things that she's doing and she doesn't very often answer. She does different stuff and it's really, really different every night. There's no pattern to it or anything. Eidetic imagery is part of the mysterious world of childhood brain development. Jess is creating a virtual three-dimensional world in which she interacts with a cast of imaginary friends. It's such fun that once awake, she stays there, playing with them for hours on end. Her eidetic world is just too much fun. Left unchecked, the insomnia will harm her development. <laughs> On the number one spot today, we have a boy who was born with a big part of his brain and skull missing. Now, the doctors actually told these parents that their kid only had a short amount of time to live, but somehow he did manage to survive. In the future, he can probably get a surgery to look like a normal kid, since almost half of his skull is missing, which can be really dangerous. Even though this baby is missing half of his skull and brain, he does actually talk back to his parents, which I think is really amazing. Hi, baby. Hi, Jackson. <laughs> Jackson Buell, known to the world as Jackson Strong, is now saying hello in a new video posted by his parents on Facebook. The baby's story has gone viral. Doctors gave him a short time to live after he was born with a rare case of microhydra encephaly. He is missing a large part of his brain and skull. Doctors told parents Brandon and Brittany that he would never speak, see, or hear, but the tot has defied all odds. You want to say hi to anybody in particular? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Say hi. Yeah, hi world. <laughs> yeah, my name's Jackson. Yeah. Jackson celebrated his first birthday on August 27th. His dad, Brandon, wrote on Facebook that it's a miracle that after everything, he is still here, strong as ever, only dependent on a feeding tube. Parents Brandon and Brittany have been thanking the world for their support. They captioned his latest video writing, You can't see our shocked and happy expressions behind the camera, but we are super proud parents to be able to witness Jackson speaking yet again. Hi, baby. Hi, Jackson. <laughs> The family has a GoFundMe page to help with Jackson's care. These were all the videos for today, guys. Let me know down below which one you thought was the craziest one out of this list. As always, I'll be giving three shoutouts. The first shoutout goes to Lungu Owana. The second shoutout goes to Emilia Cercel. And the last shoutout goes to Natasha Richards. Go check out their channels if you have some free time. If you do, then don't forget to comment something on one of their videos saying something like Top 5 Dudes Send You. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If so, then you know what to do. Smash that like button like always. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.